So, um, Uncivilized Vitality, I want to do a, a gear review of sorts. I'm not going to go too specific, but I want to talk about my Hill People gear. Gear. Um, <clears throat> Hill People gear. Maybe you can zoom in. <clears throat> Here's their little logo. Hill People gear. Uh, I've tried a lot of different um, gear lines over the years. Uh, the last 40 some years uh, since I was a little kid. Uh, used to be a big fan of Kelty, but um, and I use a GoPro, uh, not a GoPro, a uh, GoRuck uh, GR1 as my daily carry. Uh, I love that bag. But when I go outside, I use the last few years Hill People gear. 100% American made, heavy duty, uh, and, and modular, which is really cool. So um, I'm not going to go over all the stats, uh, the specific stats. I'll give you um, uh, estimates, but because you, you can just Google these or go right to their site, hillpeoplegear.com. So this is kind of my main um, hiking bag. Uh, this is the Umlindi, U-M-L-I-N-D-I, the Umlindi pack. And on the Umlindi pack, I have attached the uh, admin panel. So this admin panel uh, is set up on their gear. I don't know if you can see in here. Here, and I'll just I'll just kneel down. So I have the Umlindi pack. It's just one um, sort of a top-loading bucket pack. It's got their uh, slip pocket through here uh, in the back for a water bladder or whatever. I usually shove my, my shovel down there. Uh, what's cool about the Hill People gear is their suspension system. This yoke harness that kind of free floats, uh, that is just, it's just everything. It's the most comfortable, these are the most comfortable packs I have ever worn. Uh, no exaggeration, no hyperbole. That yoke uh, is the best. So I have this uh, Umlindi pack as my main pack, and on there I've attached, like I said, the admin panel. Um, I won't take this all the way off on the video in order to keep this kind of concise, but what you you have are these um, these various pouches you can attach for the Hill People gear, and right down here, I'll take this, this um, G-hook off, and it's normally just hooked right here, so the compression straps go across the back of the the Umlindi pack. It's got, by the way, straps across the back, straps on the bottom, straps on the top, and these are all uh, easily removable. I could just, if I didn't want the top straps, I can just uh, pop that G-hook off and then tuck it inside the bag or leave it at home. So, what you do is you get this admin panel and the Hill People gear comes with, uh, on the Umlindi pack and on all their packs really, it's got these little tabs uh, with these little plastic um, slides. And I take the, the sewn tab that's matched up to size and you slide that little tab. If I can do it, I'm just trying to hurry here. I slide that little tab through that sewn tab through the little plastic ring onto the pack. And then I slip the G ring through the, uh, the G hook through there and it locks it into place. You do that all the way around the bag, and you can attach or detach uh, relatively quickly uh, the admin panel, so I can expand my Umlindi pack. Usually, when I get to camp, I take my uh, I take this admin panel off once we've made base camp because I carry all of my uh, shelter kit and some um, most of the stuff that's unpacked. By the time I get to camp, I just take that admin panel off and throw it under the hammock. Uh, or in the hammock, so I use my Umlindi without the belt as my hiking around day pack uh, at camp. So um, that's my main pack, the Umlindi. You can check out the stats on that. That's a rather small, not a lot of capacity, but um, if you know how to pack and you know what you're, you're taking with you, it, it's pretty adequate. I, we have another video on what I carry in it. Uh, like I said, the cool thing about that is the, the modularity with the admin panel, and I can take the admin panel off and I could attach that to one of my other <clears throat> larger Hill People gear, or I could even take, this is another uh, pack called the Tara Humara. This is much smaller. It's just a single zip, couple compression straps, uh, one, uh, one large dump pouch sort of thing. It's got a couple little water bottle pockets on the side. And it's got that really cool uh, yoke harness system. But this comes off pretty quickly just by uh, uh, undoing the, the straps here. I can just quickly take this 
harness off of my Tarahumara and use, take that off, and then use the Tarahumara itself as an additional pack on my Umlindi. Because you can see, just like that admin panel, it has those little tabs pre-sewn to match up to the back of the other bag. So if I wanted even more capacity or a second backpack, I could take the oak harness off of my Tarahumara, use it as an admin panel, and then when I get to camp, I've got uh, a day pack. Normally, it's just the one I do on my, my daily hikes. I run around with my water bottle, first aid kit in it. So it's a little smaller than the Umlindi pack, but I have the Umlindi with the admin panel attached, which would be kind of switched out with the Tarahumara. So I think of this as my, my small, my medium, my medium plus. And then the large, version of my Hill People gear is my Decker pack frame. So the Decker pack frame, it looks like a spaghetti monster with all this stuff going on, but once again, same yoke system, and all three of these yoke systems uh, could come off and interchange between the different packs. I actually have a free standing yoke system that uses just um, uh, Grimlocks to attach to some of the bags, so I could turn this admin panel into another small backpack if I wanted. But the Decker pack frame is a, a stiff pack board with a harness system composed of two straps over the top, two top straps, middle straps, lower straps, a single strap at the bottom, and they attach to this, they all come around attached to this, uh, I think this is Hyperlon or um, some kind of really rugged material, soft on the inside toward my gear, rugged, and all the buckles are attached to that. And it comes up and over, and there's another uh, Hyperlon made, I believe that's the material, shelf that something would sit on. And it's attached to the bag, the back of the pack frame, and it can take quite the large uh, load. Uh, I could carry uh, elk quarters, uh, I carry tents, I carry um, fuel and water canisters, uh, firewood. You could probably even tote out an injured companion strapped to this pack board. What I use the Decker pack frame for is mainly my winter camping or group camping when I'm going to be hauling a lot of gear. And then I'll dump everything inside a duffel bag. This is, um, this is a Decker pack bag. It's also from Hill People Gear. It goes right uh, on the Decker pack frame. It's got a top pocket, a couple water bottle pockets, but it's really just a big bag. Uh, and I'll show you that in a hot second. So otherwise, I usually just put a, a, a gym duffel bag with all the gear, and I'll strap that to my deck or pack frame, hike it out to base camp, hike back for the water uh, and any extra gear we need, and I use that uh, in the winter. Otherwise, the Lindy is my main um, hiker. For small personal items, uh, I have the Hill People Gear uh, belt pouch. This has a concealed, uh, concealed carry pocket, um, and then a, a smaller front pocket with a... Um, hook and loop uh, field with some um, laser cut molly in there and two front pockets. Okay. Um, I've just got this little mag retainer in there because I normally just carry my pistol in there if I'm walking around. And then a front pocket with two small slip pockets um, just for carrying around maybe the personal items. You can wear this over your shoulder as a, as a sling bag if you're carrying your, your pistol that way or just as um, like a small uh, man purse I guess. But this is my small Hill People Gear uh, fanny pack or waist pack. Uh, and I'll take that sometimes. The other thing I almost always have is my Hill People Gear um, chest ring. And this comes in various sizes. It's got a great harness, just slips over. And it's basically the same as the hip pouch uh, waist pack, which is small. And you can get this kit bag in, this is the large, uh, search and rescue size. Same thing though. Front with two slip pockets and some little uh, tie-down dummy tabs. Uh, you can put a grim lock or attach keys or dummy cords so you don't drop your gear. A large middle with uh, more dummy tie-downs, two slip pockets. Got my boo-boo kit. That hook and loop field where you can attach different things. I keep my first aid kit in there. And then a third panel just like the waste pack behind where I would keep. Um, it's got a dummy cord uh, or a single strip of loop where I can put on a um, Maxpedition uh, pistol holder so you can keep your, your pistol there. 
So it's basically the extra large size of the waist pack and it comes with this cool uh, harness which is very comfortable to wear under any of the other backpacks. If I've really got this loaded out, uh, it has these two extra tabs here with these grim locks and I can attach this to the pack straps on my backpack to kind of balance out the weight and pull. So that's a neat little feature. I've also sometimes gotten to camp and taken the harness off and used this and attached it to the back of the last piece of kit I'm talking about, my prairie belt, where it's got these little tabs here. Uh, I can hang that and get sort of a butt pack of sorts. Um, the prairie belt is the other piece of Hill People Gear kit that uh, I really, really like. And it, again, it's modular. So if you buy one of their packs and you're going to want a belt, the Decker pack frame doesn't come with the belt. You have to buy this or their standard belt, hip belt, separately. Uh, the Prairie belt has the, uh, the Molly attachments. It's got some extra tabs for load lifter type straps. Uh, it comes with a, a uh, Cobra buckle. It's like everything else, 100% made in the USA. It's got these two like, Hyperlon pockets at the back for the upright stays on some of their other packs. And I just have some uh, paracord and a toggle lash there. So sometimes I will wear the belt at camp with my pistol first aid kit in the winter uh, or for hunting. I had a couple dump pouches for water. And then I slap my first aid kit or my um, poncho just tied at the back there. So this belt kit, or this prairie belt, it wouldn't fit on something like the uh, Tara Humara, which is mostly an admin or trade out pocket. But let's say I wanted to add this to my, my Umlindi. I take down here, lay the belt across the, uh, the appropriate field so it fits in there. Run that up and now I've attached a belt pouch to my own Lindy bag to carry a little extra, support a little extra weight. To get to camp, I'm just using this as a day pack. I can drop that belt right off. The uh, Decker pack frame, uh, if I'm gonna be carrying anything with any significant weight, obviously I'm gonna want a hip belt. Same thing, we come down here to the base of the base of the Decker pack frame. I find those two pockets for the, the aluminum uprights inside the, the pack frame. You slide those in there so the weight is transferred down onto the onto the belt. Slip that padded lumbar pad uh, up over there. Padded lumbar pad, redundant. Drop that in there and now I've thrown that belt on my Decker pack frame and I'm ready to go carrying a pretty, uh, pretty significant amount of weight in this. I think it's rated, I think their site says up to 300 pounds, which if you can hike around with 300 pounds of gear, uh, good for you. So, uh, there's my Decker pack frame, and I will show you by quickly stuffing the rest of my Hill People gear in here. And then, uh, like I said, normally I'm running my Decker pack frame uh, in the winter because I carry an actual sleeping quilt besides just my poncho liner blanket, maybe a wool blanket. Or if the wife and I are going, she has a Decker pack frame to match and, a, and a, a bag just like this. And we load that up with our blankets and quilts and sleeping bags. So this is how it would work. I lay my Decker pack frame out. I have my gear and that sits right down onto this panel. So that would form, tighten it up on the side, that would form the basis of the pack, the shelf, that the weight would rest on. Okay. Then this center strap, the hyperbolon, uh, hyperbolon, the hyperlon strap would come up and come up over like this. Then you just line up your straps from the side, buckle this in. I know what some people are thinking already. Spaghetti monster, strap nightmare. Uh, and I am one of those people that doesn't like excess straps normally, uh, but I've grown to love this Decker pack frame for a couple reasons. The number of straps, once you get used to organizing them and um, you have your strap organizers on there, lots of different ways to do that. 
just sliding some hair ties or such over that. I've gotten over my aversion to this many straps just because of the sheer versatility and ruggedness of this pack frame. Now, let's see, I have all my gear. We'll put that on. Got that yoke system uh, floating up there. Then I can just that belt up. And then you'd be surprised at the uh, the amount of gear you can carry with this Decker pack frame. Like I said, sometimes we take uh, large groups, 15, 20 people out on an outfitting, and I'll have to make two or three trips back to the car to get the water and the, the cooler and the, uh, I could even carry an injured person on this. So that's the Decker pack frame, the Umlindi, the Tarumara, the waste pack, uh, the large search and rescue chest rig, and I think that was it. Um, hill people gear. They've also got several other dedicated bags that don't come apart. I just like the modularity of this. So their fast is my hill people gear collection. I really, really prefer hill people gear uh, because of its ruggedness and its modularity. And uh, these three bags with a couple of extra accessories do everything I need uh, in the outdoors when I'm being uncivilized. Uh, so check out hill people gear and um, you can look up the stats of those individual um, packs and I'll have Tom put the names in the description uh, or maybe in one of those fancy boxes in midair or something and um, you can look the gear up and, and check it out it's not the cheapest gear <laughs> uh, but you get what you pay for it last a lifetime I've worked with them on some uh, broken straps and buckles they're they're also uh, as an organization uh, great to work with uh, they immediately let me know where to get replacements or fix things and help me out with ideas I've had so uh, that's probably it. That was long enough.